Today, New Yorkers reacting to the high court uh, decision. NBC5 Sid Boulay was in Plattsburgh today, hearing from the community there. While New York codified the right to abortion in 2019, some are fearing for the country, while others say that there should be limitations on when abortions can be performed. Friday morning, the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. The decision has been met with mixed reactions across the North Country. I think that uh, somebody, if they're raped, they should be allowed to have an abortion, but earlier in the pregnancy. Um, I don't believe anybody should be really doing an abortion at more than three months at the most. I can only at this point hope that states are going to stand up and do the right thing and continue to protect the rights of women and their, their choices and their ability to do what they want. Most people say the decision did not come as a surprise, including Planned Parenthood of the North Country. Because of the leak, we sort of knew that something like this was going to happen. Despite the expectation, Tess Baker says it's still hard. But she says Planned Parenthood isn't going anywhere, no matter the state. Our doors have been open for 100 years. They're going to stay open for 100 more. We're not going to back down. We are not going to give up. But some see the overturning as a win for the nation. After three months, they shouldn't have the right. But if you're raped, then you should have the right. There's all kinds of opportunities out there for a child once they're older. And one former Plattsburgh resident says after recently moving across the country, she feels abortion needs to be a right everywhere. I'm sad and discouraged. I feel like this is a huge step backwards for women, for our rights, for our bodies and the choice to choose. Many of the women NBC5 spoke with today say they fear that women across the country will turn to what they call back alley abortions. Others say women with unwanted pregnancies should consider looking into adoption. In Plattsburgh, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.